Somehow the thought of a stranger living in my house just seems weird, you know? Doesn't it? I don't mean just for us, but for you, too. Oh, but then I guess you do this all the time. Oh, no. I try this as a means of finding room and board and a little money. Mm. I'm also attending a few classes at William and Mary College, but that won't interfere with my duties. Well, that's great. I'm happy for you, really. So do I get the job? Fact is, Susan, I don't need a living. This was my husband's suggestion. I mean, I have raised two kids on my own, and now they're about to go off to college. They were both accepted at Harvard. Mm, that's a nice school, too. Thanks. So anyway, it'll just be Oliver and me here at home. Although I am getting going my own catering business, but let's face it, I mean, I don't need to work, not for the money. And that does not necessarily make me one of these women who's married to a successful man and uh, has dedicated her life to him and her children and then finds herself desperately trying to validate herself as a human being because her children are about to leave her by studying photography or opening an art gallery or going into an interior design in her husband's office. No, I mean, I have a wonderful house crammed with beautiful things. I did this house myself. I did a great job. Not that I am necessarily a slave to materialism, no. But I am proud of what I have accomplished, although I suppose some people would find my life disgusting. No, <laughs> disgusting is too strong a word, no. I, I would not say that many people would respect the choices that I have made, although women would, women like me. But then I don't care what they think because I can't stand who they are. What I'm trying to say, Susan, is that I don't need a living. Well, thanks for the interview, and good luck, and God bless you. I would like you to understand that if I were to hire you, my life would probably change. You would be this new element in the house, you see? Well, let me show you where your room is.